Um, okay, well, I let's d dive in a little bit as we are now. Uh, I keep looking at my watch because I want to keep us on time here. Uh, we're within 10 minutes of the top of the hour, so that means we're within 10 minutes of the Texas debate beginning. Um, but let's dive into fundraising uh, because I think it's really interesting to see some of these numbers. I remember in 2018 when it was uh, Ted Cruz versus Beto O'Rourke, it was a big headline because that was the most expensive Senate race in U.S. history at the time. Well we have blown past that. Uh, so I think we have a graphic, and Jay, if we can start with the graphic that shows uh, the most recent reporting, maybe those individual numbers, uh, this would be from the third quarter of 2024. We know that Senator Cruz raised less money than Congressman Allred. So Allred reported bringing in $30.3 million. Cruz reported a fundraising total of $21.2 million. That's in the latest quarter. All right, now let's go to the other graphic, if we can, that shows the combined totals here yeah here we go okay so in 2024 so far Cruz and Allred combined for 132 million back in 2018 they raised 119 million through that entire campaign as as I said and as I said one of the big headlines was wow this is the most expensive Senate race in US history well we've blown past that and to be candid this is not the most expensive uh, Senate race in the US this year right now that's running in, in Mon Montana uh, but what do we make of the fact that a congressman allred has raised more money and b national money is coming into the state of texas for the first time katie well i think it maybe it, i shouldn't say for the first time for the first time in a long time in a long time yeah but i think it shows that people feel that ted cruz is vulnerable for the first time in a long time now how vulnerable i don't know but they're willing to pour a lot of money in that to push colin over the finish line mm -hmm. and this is a big state it costs a lot of money to cam it does. campaign it does. in right. Texas. And the, the big dollars that we're seeing them bring in is the reason we see so much of them on the airwaves. Exactly. And they have to be on the airwaves because how else do you reach so many millions of Texans? I mean, you can do what Beto did and drive everywhere, sure. which was pretty effective. I mean, it got him to within four mm -hmm. points mm -hmm. of winning, but I don't see Colin He, he didn't win any it. votes out in all those rural counties. <laughs> well, those goats did. and sheep didn't really vote <laughs> for him. Well, and this, now, come on, some of those counties actually have a Democrat or two. <laughs> but um, I think that it does show that money is it's what the fuel that absolutely. you know it absolutely money fuels politics well, we and have well, I'm sorry go ahead we have all the PAC money involved too and all right. the PAC money's pouring in because this is seen as a seat that can help the Democrats keep the majority in the Senate and this is seen as one of the seats the Democrats might be able to win this year it's always been a long shot but it's a, a seat that's close mm -hmm. and so more money than ever is pouring in from all across the country uh, first of all you have this national hope and magazine stories there's a, and always these headlines say is Texas turning blue and it's just like it comes up every election right, cycle right, right. and it never turns out that way but it's mm -hmm. like people pour more money into Texas sure. and uh, but the Democrats really need to keep the seat and we don't know exactly what's going to happen in the U.S. Senate right now. Right. I mentioned Montana earlier. We don't know if that's going to flip. And it's definitely the balance of power seems to be sort of hinging on a few key well, races. Well, and we have a huge influx of newly registered voters oh, absolutely. in this state yes. that has introduced an intriguing um, bit of the unknown mm -hmm. into mm -hmm. this. And, and in the Cruz and Beto race, the new Texans voted for Ted Cruz, native Texans voted for Beto O'Rourke, the majority That's did, but the new people who uh, had moved to Texas within the last, you know, within recent years were people who came for uh, inexpensive property values or low taxes or conservative state or just to benefit from the growing economy and they kept Ted Cruz. But one of the things they're seeing in this election is that you're getting first-time voters have mm -hmm. registered. Right, it's not and, all and people that who just is moved to unknown, the state, right? Yeah. Uh, because yeah. they have no voting right. record. Yeah. yeah, yeah, it's hard to predict. I, I looked it up the other day. There's more than two and a half million new voters registered in the state of Texas since the last time that Ted Cruz was on the ballot. They're the great unknown. We just don't know what's going to